This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project. SCP-999, Object Class is Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-999 is allowed to freely roam the facility should it desire to, but otherwise must stay in its pen either between 8 to 9 p.m. for sleeping or during emergency lockdowns for its own safety. Subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at the time, or if they are on break. Subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening tone. Description SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime, weighing 54 kilograms, with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. Subject size and shape is easily malleable and can change shape at will, though when at rest, SCP-999 becomes a rounded oblate dome, roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter in height. The surface of SCP-999 consists of a thin, transparent membrane similar to that of an animal cell, roughly half centimeter thick, and is highly elastic, allowing SCP-999 to flatten portions of its body up to 2 centimeters thin. The surface is also hydrophobic. Although SCP-999 can willfully absorb liquids, see addendum SCP-999-A, the rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup, though it is capable of digesting organic materials with ease. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods, while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all while emitting high-pitched gurgling and cooing noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasant odor that differs with whomever it is interacting with. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and Play-Doh. Simply touching SCP-999's surface causes an immediate, mild euphoria, which intensifies the longer one is exposed to SCP-999 and lasts long after separation from the creature. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until asked to stop, though it does not always immediately comply with this request. Though injuries may occur, SCP-999 has never been found to purposefully attempt to harm others, and will immediately back away and contract its body into a quivering mound while gurgling in a matter similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Persons suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have reported having a far more positive outlook on life after multiple interactions with SCP-999. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from SCP-999 slime is currently being discussed. In addition to its playful behavior, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat and even risking its own life to save others on one occasion leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them. Subject's intellect is still up for debate, though its behavior is infantile, it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, including guns. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with M&Ms and NECA wafers being its favorites. Its eating methods are similar to those of an amoeba. Addendum SCP-999-A. Reminder to all staff. SCP-999 is not to consume caffeinated soft drinks of any kind. Last week, someone gave SCP-999 a can of cola along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for half an hour, the carbonation made SCP-999 visibly queasy afterwards, and it refused to move or eat the rest of the day. SCP-999 has thankfully recovered since, but the staff member in question has been reprimanded. Addendum SCP-999-B the following is a report from an experiment in which SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal rage. SCP-999 is released into SCP-682's containment area, immediately slithers towards SCP-682. 999 emits elated gurgles. 682, unintelligible groans, growling, what is that? 
SCP-999 moves in front of SCP-682, jumping up and down in a dog-like manner, while calling out in a high-pitched, squealing noise. 682 groans. Disgusting. SCP-682 immediately steps on SCP-999, completely flattening SCP-999. Observers were about to abort the experiment when SCP-682 started talking again. 682 grunts. Hmm? Unintelligible. What is this? Low noise, similar to light chuckle. I feel good. SCP-999 can be seen crawling up from between SCP-682's toes, up along its side and around its neck, where it clings on and begins gently nuzzling with its pseudopod. A wide grin slowly spreads across SCP-682's face. 682, deep chuckling, feel so happy, happy, laughs, happy, happy. SCP-682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into non-stop laughter. As laughter continues, SCP-682 rolls around on his back, slamming its tail upon the floor with dangerous force. 682, bellowing laughter, stop, no tickling, continues laughing. SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue the tickle fight until SCP-682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with what would appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no activity, two D-Class personnel enter the room to retrieve SCP-999. When SCP is removed, SCP-682 immediately wakes up and unleashes an unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all the while laughing maniacally. All persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, allowing SCP-682 to escape and slaughter all in its path. Meanwhile, SCP-999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from the SCP-682's laughter wave, while agents suppress and recontain SCP-682. Despite the tragedy that SCP-682 had brought upon the facility, SCP-999 has not shown any fear towards the creature and in fact has made gestures suggesting it wants to play with SCP-682 again. SCP-682, however, has stated that feculent little can data expunged and die. Memo from Dr. Redacted While the test was unsuccessful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I have ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day when I would regard SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes as soon as possible.